How's it going guys? This is Peter here with another Guild Wars fan video and we are going to do Thunderhead Keep, probably the longest mission in Prophecies. Back in the day this was like the hardest of all, on my first chart this place took me more than a month of grinding to pass, you know just prof only skills, no PvE stuff, no concepts and the moors are sitting like a track. I remember some monk Mursat bosses were almost impossible to beat and other scary things, well in 2021 this is a fairly easy mission. Clear the city, clear the fort, kill Dagnar's stone plate, light the magical beacons, protect King Jellis and beat Confessor Dorian. These are the objectives, let's get started. After entering the mission we find ourselves with the dwarf group, King Jellis and his soldiers. Don't forget guys, the king must survive, the small guys can die, but they are good meat shields, I like to bring them till the end. The first two groups are great for a bit of warm up, then after the bridge we run into a boss group. Giant stomps can make these fights harder than usual, maybe consider bringing a PvS shout called Don't Trip, or if you trust your group just YOLO like me. The next part is called the city, more stone summits, more giants and doyaks. Obviously focus on the latter, they possess mark of protection, a skill which can protect one target quite well, unless you have a shatter enchant for example. Now as I'm reading wiki it says you can run straight to the spot where the king opens the next gate, actually you don't have to kill all the groups inside the city and this will definitely save you some minutes. I think I finished the mission in like 30-32 minutes and like I said this is a long one. Nonetheless in this feed I have killed them all, just a reminder you can do this a little bit faster. The king will open the gate and we can go to the fort, but watch the right hand side, there is a petrol closing, don't overgrow here. Kill group by group, try to finish the stone some ignashers fast or, or they make minions and slow you down. One very important note guys, to do the bonus we must light the beacons, uh, you know, to lure foes away from the dwarf allies who camp outside the fort. If you do it too slowly, you fail the bonus and best if you keep Dagner stone plate for last and go to the beacons immediately. Speed boost can help but you have enough time to light both beacons without IMS too. Just drop the torch and don't carry that all the way to the other side. That would slow you down way too much. And if you see the, the end is here, Great Dwarf save us line, you were too slow, uh, just restart the mission. If you don't see that, the bonus is triggered. And also good to know, if you kill some other fools last and not Dagnar, you may fail the bonus. This is due to some groups trigger the cutscene and some trigger the bonus. But if you keep the boss for last, you'll be fine. So once you are done with the torch thing, stay around the king, kill any who's coming to him, usually I go AFK during this period or watch a movie, sadly there is no way to speed this up. But let me do that now, I'm gonna really speed up this part, nothing to say here really, I mean you can try to hit fools with the catapults and you may kill a few, but most will reach the fort and, and the best if you don't split your heroes at the entrance, just stay together for the whole time.
And finally, around the 30 minutes mark, Confessor Dorian and his not that OP in 2021 group will come. Focus on the Savants, the Psychophants, and then the rest. Dorian himself is a very bad healer. I think he only has like heal area. This group shouldn't cause too many problems. Once all of them are dead, talk to the king and the mission is completed. This was Thunderhead Keep, hit the like button if you enjoyed this one and stay tuned because a big vid is coming.